Meet Professor Katerns, formerly known as Megadoop TV. Despite me being in the CC now, I still enjoy his content. With that being said, this video. He made a bad commentary on a cartoon reviewer named Cosmodor, who reviewed SpongeBob's Ink Lemonade. With that context out of the way, let's get started. You know, I didn't think this was possible. I didn't hope this was possible, and they almost had me convinced we were over this phase by now of people saying, Oh, this is the worst episode! This is such an animated atrocity trademark! And I didn't think I'd make a video like this someday, but here we are. It hurts me to say this, but there's a new worst Spongebob episode. I mean, is it really surprising considering the show is literally 19 years old at this point? Even if the show is getting better, you can't just expect there to not be a shit episode every once in a while. First of all, why is the original in black and white? This is pretty distracting to say the least. I get why your avatar is in black and white, because it's some old tiny guy, but why the original video? Is this a nitpick at the end of the day? Yeah it is, but I don't care, it's still distracting. Second of all, Spongebob is, is practically going through a renaissance. Seeing a bad episode from this era is more jarring than seeing one from season 6 or 7. Santiago. The synopsis of Ink Lemonade goes as follows. Ink Lemonade is a Spongebob Squarepants episode from season 11. In this episode, Patrick's lemonade stand is unsuccessful until he gets a secret ingredient from Squidward. That doesn't sound too bad. It could be like a modern day bubble stand, couldn't it? I totally understand why that concept would intrigue you. It piqued my interest too. However, after the title card, we are instantly greeted with annoying Patrick screeching hooray! <laughs> <laughs> I guess we can scratch off speech impediment on a Patrick stupidity level bingo card. And I swear to god, they have dumped him down endlessly in this episode, even in other ones of the same season where they went the route of overemphasizing his stupidity levels, he didn't look like a big pink monkey man as he does here. I thought that's what his sister is for anyway. Oh yes, because how dare they have character designs that display his stupidity. Seriously, that's your complaint? That he looks like a big monkey man even though he is a stupid character? Fucking hell, man. Uh, his main point was that Patrick was annoying. Not that he was a stupid monkey. He just took one part of his argument and pretending that that was his main complaint. Also, why is there a filter over the original video at this part? but not at any other part. It is honestly very distracting. Squidward goes on to rant on about his stupidity because he is the big meanie man that doesn't let Patrick have his fun, but does end up giving him an old trash lemon. What? Did they dumb every character in this episode down? Okay. Did... Did you even watch the same episode that I did, or are you this degenerate? Happy holidays, you degenerate motherfuckers. Now he's to be major senpai! <laughs> oh my god, my throat. That you don't know the actual reason as to why he threw a lemon at his eye. Squidward throws a rotten lemon at Patrick's eye to taunt him, to make fun of him, to get a cheap laugh. This was clearly shown in the episode, for fuck's sake. Lemonade. I don't see any lemons. I need lemons. Hey. I'm sorry, I never gave you anything. Sorry, it's a little bruised. <laughs> Remember the fact that Katoons is showing a clip here. It'll be important later. Santiago. SpongeBob, who is suddenly just kind of there, scares Squidward with a megaphone. A gag they have already used three times now, I should add, making Squidward pour ink into Patrick's lemonade. Yes, this is gross, especially considering it's coming out of Squidward's nose, but don't worry! It gets worse! Because SpongeBob and Patrick's second customer then drink Squidward's snot water, instantly getting addicted to it. Seriously? Is... is this what cartoon reviewers are bitching about now? Ink that doesn't even look that disgusting? Granted, it came out of Squidward's nose, but at the end of the day, it's just fucking ink. Is that really that disgusting now? Okay, it may look disgusting to you, but others may find it gross. Your subjectivity does not counter Cosmo or really anyone else's subjectivity. I know you have an ego, but Jesus Christ, treating opinions like facts is a whole other level of pretentious. 
Santiago. Couldn't you have merged this episode with Doodle Dimension in some way so that they used the ink for writing and drawing there? Or have Squidward build up his own fountain pen empire? Or I don't know, anything that doesn't involve having the citizens of Bikini Bottom drink the ink? Shoot, I just made them a slogan, didn't I? Patrick's suddenly actually interested in improving his business. Great character consistency here. Just because he's a stupid character doesn't mean that he has a lack of caring for his business. That literally makes no fucking sense. Scare Squidward into making more ink with him ripping off his whole skin in front. Mmm, feels just like old season 6 times, doesn't it? I never understood why these cartoon reviewing retards constantly spurg out over gross out in a cartoon. And? And? This is the definition of a non-interjection. All this is, is just saying, My opinion is always fact, and just cutting back to the original video. You could have cut this from the original video, and nothing of substance would have been lost. Then again, this whole train wreck of a video is devoid of substance anyway. The line at his laminate stand got even bigger since, and so he gets a gigantic spider, which again is just kinda there. Yeah, because nitpicking the episode on how illogical it is, even though it's fucking Spongebob, is definitely the way to go. It's forced into the episode. If you don't understand why this is an issue, then you can go grow a brain cell. I can understand where you're coming from, Katoons, if Kazador pulled a Mr. Enter and weld uh, the giant spider for, let's say, at least 30 seconds, but he didn't. He pointed out an obvious yet minor flaw and moved on. To scare Squidward again and again and again, and again, and this goes on for roughly three minutes of Patrick just chasing Squidward around, finding new ways to scare him and make him lose more and more ink. This ranges from disguising as a ghost to a big pink baby with a Squidward nose and building a life-size puppet in Squidward's likeness. I seriously can't remember the last time Patrick was portrayed as so malicious, so keen on completely destroying Squidward, so driven by the thought of squeezing even the last drop of ink out of him. You think Patrick is being represented as malicious? No. No, he isn't, and it's shit like this that makes me wonder if you even saw the episode. It's clear that they're portraying Patrick as this dumbass that is just trying to do whatever he can to make his lemonade business work. Not as this evil, like, this evil tyrant trying to kill Squidward. Like, what the hell are you even talking about? <laughs> hey, Katoon, if you screw up on your line delivery, you can either just re-record or edit it out. It's not that hard. Keeping this stuff in makes you come off as really lazy. Santiago. Okay, a little bit of context before my next point. Cosmodor complains about how Patrick had no motivation to make his lemonade stand and had no motivation to be as mean-spirited as he was. With that out of the way, back to your regularly scheduled commentary. Where did this come from? Is it like a Patrick Smartpants or Karate Star type of deal where he wasn't really himself all along? Or did he have some motivation beyond that, wanting to impress Spongebob or something? Why would the normally peace-loving and actively work-avoiding Patrick suddenly be so interested in this? The episode doesn't give us any answers about this because it just ends with Squidward realizing that this was also that Patrick and Spongebob could sell their lemonade and him then trying to sell his own too, which of course doesn't work because Squidward is not allowed to have good things. And what did he do to deserve all of this? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. He taunts and makes fun of Patrick for no reason. And even after he gets his comeuppance, he decides to ruin Spongebob and Patrick's business and then tries to exploit innocent customers by selling his ink for a quick buck without giving a shit. But yeah, guys, he didn't do anything to deserve his fate. Squidward is a good little boy. Proof. Do you have it? No? Well, crap, I guess the fact that you've shown it earlier in the video m really means nothing in the long run. Okay, final thoughts? I'm not gonna lie. This is a good candidate for the worst commentaries of 2018. Though it's not as terrible as Marcus Yamamoto, which isn't saying much at the end of the day, it's still really bad. You are either misconstruing points or may using logic that is too subjective to work. As well as the fact that the first 9 minutes and 20 seconds of a 24 minute video were just you giving context. I came here to watch a commentary. I'm glad that you have backstory towards your video, but holy crud, it does not have to take up that much time. 